So, hello. I've had the uh, Rev Tornado set for a little bit over a year now. So you guys can see, it's always on sale. It's always appealing to like beginner buyers and stuff like that. So I figured, you know, we'd actually give it a shot. And uh, so I bought the jacket and I bought the pants are on sale right now, 20% off. I wanna show you guys the tornado stuff. We're gonna get into it. I'll sit on the bike. I'll show you kind of how it feels, how it stretches the armor and all the stats with that and how much you can get it for nowadays. If you are looking into buying a good four season Oh, three season set. This is a great choice for it. So I just want to show you guys what it's about. Without further ado, let's just get right into it. It's got a two piece. We'll get into that in a second. And I've used the underlayers probably more than my actual jackets and warm pants. This thing has been in downpours. Uh, when it's raining out, I've got the full set on. When it's snowy outside, I mean, this set's been through a lot uh, over the past year and prices. So. The jacket normally retails for $370. Pants retail for $339. And it sounds like a lot of money. I know. Especially to people who are riding for the first time and want to invest every last dollar in their bike. But what I'm telling you to get gear, get gear. And for me, this was an amazing choice because it does get really warm in the summer. And I needed that thermal coating for when it's raining outside. So I decided to go with this set. There's also options for starters, um, for people like beginners getting on bikes and wanting gear to get just like a leather jacket or get something with like a little bit of plating or even get like a full race suit for you, the squids out there. As you can tell, uh, she's not a squid bike, uh, so not, I don't have squiddy tendencies yet. So each piece of the set comes in two layers. You've got your outer coating right here, we call it the outer armor. And then you've got your thermal coating right here in the middle. This coating right here, it is Hydratex. Uh, that's just fancy wordage for water resistant. And as far as water resistance goes, this underlayer here, uh, I use, as I was saying, as my daily jacket. When it's raining outside, it's snowing outside, this jacket, this under jacket's on. And so it, the, the Hydratex stuff works great. Uh, for the pants as well. It's too cold for me to be wearing this outer layer, the outer shell. I'll actually throw this set on underneath uh, like riding jeans, like the ones you might have seen in the other video I was showing you about riding in the winter. I'll throw it on over hoodies or under jackets and all that kind of stuff just to keep myself warm. This this Hydrotech stuff is unbelievable. And the jacket, you can obviously wear it, right? But pants, you can't. Unless I show you my safer trick, which we will go right into now. The secret trick for how to wear your Revit Tornado 3 underpants, underlayer, without actually wearing the full set. Because as you guys can see, there's no button, there's just a zipper for it to attach to the actual pants. But sometimes you gotta wear thicker clothing. Sometimes you gotta, you know, there's, there's cases, there's use cases. So what you'll do is either over or under your pants. I always wear it under. You're gonna throw the pants on like any other pair of pants. As you guys can see, very stylish. But what you'll do is you'll take just a simple belt. I'll actually just grab the belt. Ah, twist tight. Oh, now I am a uh, rainy, unrainy. So I was saying that you could wear inner sides by itself. Obviously that also applies with the outer layers. So when it is hot outside and I mean hot today, uh, I actually took this thing from inner Chicago all the way to Rockford and back, plating the protections all there. And it's very, as you guys can see, there's a lot of mesh in the set. We'll get a, up close to that for you too. But there's a lot of mesh in the pants and the jacket to let the wind flow, let the air flow through but still keep you protected and still keep you safe and honestly keep you stylish. We'll get into the looks at the end. So I'm gonna actually take the jacket off here. I actually don't have it clipped in. I'll show you. So the jacket, the inner and outer actually are, as I was saying, two separate pieces as you already know by now, but they actually attach with various clips. I'll get some close up of that um, when I get to it, but there's zippers on the inside that keep it together. There's all this sort of stuff all these holes. And as you can see, if I show you the inside of the jacket right here, this is the back. This is supposed to be 
online, you could see that this thing has suffered some abuse and taken it very well. Uh, it's still water seals, so it keeps me nice and warm. And jacket by itself doesn't feel as heavy as you would think. So when you first throw on any sort of protective gear, whether it be a leather jacket or something like this, you'll notice its weight. You'll feel it. Now, as for protection, because that's kind of the whole reason you would buy a set like this, right? You're going to have shoulder pad. One, two. You're going to have a knee pad. One, two. And you also have, which came with my set as a promotion, a back pad. Right here. And they're all going to be slide resistant. I haven't fallen in it yet. So, of course, I can't be the perfect reviewer of it. But it does make me feel safe, feel protected. And without the inner jacket, it is very... My camera just died. So, no lavalier mic for me. Sizing is very important because there are a lot of people who say that these fit a little small, especially with the inner layers on, so I'll try to get a size up. Now, I wear a size medium and a size medium, so I grabbed a size medium and medium. And they are not lying to you. It is a little bit small, so make sure that you order a size up, especially if you're going to be wearing this in the winter, for example, or when it's cold, when it's raining, when you want to have more layers than just the jacket and the Hydrotex under layer, you're going to want to have a little bit of a bigger size for that just to make sure that you get your fit properly. You can see medium. I am very easily able to expose myself <laughs> when it comes to my wrists. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about sizing there. Now I am going to sit on the bike and I'm going to kind of show you how it feels, how it stretches, how it sits. If you buy both pieces of the set, which I would recommend, you can always just buy the jacket and get some uh, different pants, different pants, different jacket. You can always do that. I bought the set because I like how it looks together. And there is a little butt zipper right here. So if you want to zipper the two pieces into more of a one piece set, because this is comparable to an all season one piece like race it, right? Um, you can do that as well. And that's 100% why especially for a beginner or somebody on a budget to go with a two piece set with your or your three season, right? Your weather proof. Oh God, I got dust all over it. Your weatherproof or your weather resistant under layer and your protective outer shell. It's just, this is the recommendation I would make for you. This is what I decided to go with and it made a lot of sense. And I'm not spending a thousand dollars on a race suit when I'm not racing and I'm not going with leathers that can not be as weather compliant when it's hot out, right? So when you're wearing a full set of leather gear and it's 95 degrees out, have fun. Because I'm going to be sitting here with the wind blowing through my set as I roll down the road. So let me pull the bike a little bit closer. I'm going to kind of show you how it feels, how I sit. I've got some dumb little B-roll of me dancing around in this thing. And uh, yeah, give you my final thoughts on how I feel about it. So, all right, everybody. Say hi to Izzy. She's been lurking in the background. It's by VTX 1300 seat. If you guys have noticed from the last time, passenger seat is off. And I've got new bags on there as well. So we'll do a little bit of a review on those. I've got something very special planned with this bike. I want to show you guys that in the future. But for now, let me show you what it's like to wear both sets. We'll sit down now. So as you guys can see, I've got ample room for my uh pants to go over my boots here i hope you guys can see that let me actually sit here so you guys can see i've got ample room ample stretch right here back legs, side to side i'm squeezing all over the place because of the uh mustang seat here good yeah super comfortable here whether i am all the way back and i'm stretched forward right like i'm on a fast bike where i'm sitting here coffee sitting back during the days i feel protected again the shoulder when you're wearing pads you kind of expect it to get in your way and you do feel it right especially in the elbows you feel like a little bit of restrictive movement right here can't pull your arms all the way up but for riding and even for fast gestures and movements it doesn't really get in the way too much so i can stay here and roll down the highway I look pretty damn good right because let's get into styles this set, I am in love with. They've got two color options, black here. You also have gray with the same 
like neon orange highlights and I love how the way it looks. It makes you feel like you ride a cool bike, which everybody who rides a bike rides a cool bike. But yeah, it makes you feel good. You sit down at a restaurant, you've got the set on, the talking, right? You're out on the date, hey, hey, right? Pull up on the bike. You look, feel responsible, right? I don't feel stupid. I don't feel short into t-shirt, right? So at the end of the day, this is the Revit Tornado stuff. This is Tornado 3, okay? Make sure. Because they've got some older ones. They're coming out with a new one, I've heard. But at the moment, Tornado 3 is the set. Again, 369 for the jacket, or 379 for the jacket, 339 for the pants. 20% off right now on Revzilla. I'll put the links in the description. No affiliation yet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No affiliation. So nothing's coming out of nothing's going into my pocket if you go and order it. But please do. I mean, when it comes to riding gear, it's always going to be important, especially when you start. You're always gonna want to. This is what I wore when I started riding, and it gave me the confidence and it gave me the feeling of safety to know that if me and Izzy ever got into a little bit of a slide, fender bend, anything, right? I would have at least that knowledge of protection, you know, between this and the helmet. I need riding shoes. I'm looking into those as well. I'm also going to do kind of a one-year update on the Sidichi Strata 2. Because as you guys know, the Strata 3 just released. Can't really fit it. My head's too fat, but not fat enough, you know, sizing. Uh, but yeah, this is how it looks. I hope you guys enjoyed my little review on the uh, Tornado 3 set. If you did, please leave a like down below. Um... Sorry about the mic quality and stuff like that. Again, I was still ironing it out. I want to get consistent. And everybody says that, but I want to really get consistent with uh, uploading content and maybe even wear a ponytail next time so my hair is not all over the place, right? But have a great rest of your day. I will see you guys hopefully soon. Again, big project. Easy. Big project. May 16th. 21 years old. Big project. So... If I can start getting a little bit more help throwing this stuff together, I will not grind it all on my own, right? Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you later.